They started describing the buildings of where the where these things were going on. I knew exactly where my son was and where the shooter was because I've been at Fort Hood. Linda Boyle's Konechny's son Jason has been stationed at Fort Hood for the past seven years. And he didn't have a weapon to defend himself with. It's hard to talk about. He was only about a hundred feet from Lopez that day. I'm so thankful to God that my son was spared but I'm so sad for the families because it was unnecessary. It didn't have to happen. They defend us overseas, but they're defenseless at bases. Konechny says she doesn't understand the reasoning behind the law. Well, for one thing, they're trained. They're, they know rules of engagement. We send them off to war. They have their guns. They come home, and then they're taken from them on their home bases. They can't defend their families. They can't defend their coworkers. They can't defend themselves. She says these men and women have been rendered helpless by policy she feels needs to be changed. I knew at that time all my son could do is hide and I knew too he didn't necessarily need a gun if somebody came in but you don't take a knife to a gunfight. She fears the issue will get swept under the rug and after six months no one will remember to push for reform. I think we should have a dialogue to find out why and where we can improve because I think we need to have a defense where you have at least two officers that can be armed in all buildings on all military installations. Konechny says their entire family carries concealed weapons, but her own son, who fights for our country, can't fight for himself. I'm in better position to defend my family than he is, and that's a shame.